أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The sure reality What is the sure reality? And what will make you realize what the sure reality is? The Thamud and the Ad people branded as false the stunning calamity. But the Thamud, they were destroyed by a terrible storm of thunder and lightning. And the Ad, they were destroyed by a furious wind exceedingly violent. He made it rage against them seven nights and eight days in succession, so that you could see the whole people lying prostrate in its path, as if they had been roots of hollow palm trees tumbled down. Then see you any of them left surviving. And Pharaoh, and those before him, and the cities overthrown, committed habitual sin and disobeyed each the messenger of their Lord, so he punished them with an abundant penalty. We, when the water of Noah's flood overflowed beyond its limits, carried you mankind in the floating ark, that we might make it a message unto you, and that ears that should hear the tale and retain its memory should bear its lessons in remembrance. Then, when one blast is sounded on the trumpet, the earth is moved, and its mountains, and they are crushed to powder at one stroke. On that day shall the great event come to pass, and the sky will be rent asunder, for it will that day be flimsy, and the angels will be on its sides, and eight will that day bear the throne of your Lord above them. That day shall you be brought to judgment. Not an act of yours that you hide will be hidden. Then he that will be given his record in his right hand will say, Ah! Yeah, read you my record. I did really understand that my account would one day reach me, and he will be in a life of bliss, in a garden on high. The fruits whereof will hang in bunches low and near, eat you and drink you with full satisfaction, because of the good that you sent before you in the days that are gone. And he that will be given his record in his left hand will say, Ah! Would that my record had not been given to me, and that I had never realized how my account stood. Ah, would that death had made an end of me. Of no profit to me has been my wealth. My power has perished from me. Stern command will say, Seize you him, and bind you him, and burn you him in the blazing fire. Further, make him march in a chain whereof the length is seventy cubits. This was he that would not believe in Allah Most High, and would not encourage the feeding of the indigent. So no friend has he here this day, nor has he any food except the corruption from the washing of wounds, which none do eat but those in sin. So I do call to witness what you see, and what you see not, that this is verily the word of an honored messenger, It is not the word of a poet, little it is you believe. Nor is it the word of a soothsayer, little admonition it is you receive. This is a message sent down from the Lord of the worlds. And if the messenger were to invent any sayings in our name, we should certainly seize him by his right hand, and we should certainly then cut off the artery of his heart. Nor could any of you withhold him from our wrath. But verily, this is a message for the God-fearing. And we certainly know that there are amongst you those that reject it. But truly, revelation is a cause of sorrow for the unbelievers. But verily, it is truth of assured certainty. So glorify the name of your Lord, Most High.